I'll kill that bastard! Anthony, please don't. What's his last name? Please don't. Don't what? Do you even hear yourself? The orc groped you! But nothing really happened. If something had happened, I would have... <sighs> All right, I'm sorry, okay? I'll find out anyway. Just tell me, what's his name? What for? I just want to talk to him. Just talk? Just talk. Please don't. Don't mess with him. It'll only make it worse. Please just tell me his name, Olivia. It's Ethan. Okay, got it. Anthony, okay, okay, please okay, don't okay. do easy, anything. Easy, Promise easy. me. Heard you. It's gonna be all right. Well, are we going somewhere or not? Will you walk me home? All right, let's go. So here we are. Here we are. Wait, did I ruin my makeup? Here, let me see. It's just perfect. <laughs> You're smiling. Now I'm sure you're out of harm's way. Want me to come up with you? No, this is the girl's wing. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Anthony. Yeah? Promise me that you won't get in a fight. I promise. Do you give me your word? I give you my word. See you tomorrow then. See you. I won't get into a fight with him. I'm gonna beat him up. Where's that? At Aurora Small Hall? No, I didn't know anything. Are the tickets expensive? Yes, yes, most likely. We'll talk about it right away. Yes, okay, okay, thanks for the information. All right, goodbye. You won't believe it. Kusturitsa week starts tomorrow at Aurora. Why don't we go check it out together? What do you say, Aline? I can't go tomorrow. And why not? Because I'm going to a game. Not again. Mom, you say again as if they were... Games every day. I get the impression that they do, actually. Peter? Yes? Will you say something? Uh, to tell you the truth, I wouldn't mind going to a hockey match myself. They say the experience is different live. And Kusturitsa? You said it yourself. The movies will be on for the whole week. It's Kusturitsa week. Oh, there he is. Hi there, Dad. I've had two eyes this morning. Why didn't you pay the phone bill? They called from the station. Simon, why are you looking at me with those puppy dog eyes, huh? Did you pay for the phone services or not? I kinda... You what? Lost the money. Great, how'd you lose it? I don't know, I guess I must have missed my pocket when I put it in. You missed your pocket? Where are you going? <sighs> Where am I going? To the station, Simon. Otherwise, they'll cut the line. Dad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Son, listen to me. I don't have to write it down for you. Next time, pay attention to what you're doing. I will. I just don't get what there is to watch. One group of adolescent oafs playing against another. I don't know. The Dean has been buzzing incessantly about these bears. Do you have a B for a Dean? Hmm? No. Our Dean is not a B. More like a... a parasite. But they say those bears have been kicking ass this year. Mm -hmm. They even made it to the playoffs. You hear that? Playoffs. 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 Hmm? An invaluable addition to your vocabulary. Hey, thanks, Dad. So is your Michael playing or what? Yes, of course. I want to take a really good look at him. What's going on here? Can I please come in? Which room are you staying in? I don't have a room, I just have to see a friend. You can see your friends tomorrow, go! Hold on a minute, please, it's very urgent. Go, or I'll call the police! Look, mister, I told you already, it's very urgent! You can tell that to the police! The dormitory is closed, just come back tomorrow! I'm calling the cops! I don't care, call them! Shit.
Yes, I'm still here. Let me take a look. Looks like they fixed it. Not at all. Later. Hi there, Steven. Hi there. Why are you still here? Your guys yes, have left. I know. I took a tour of the stadium. How was it? Fine. I was just looking at the ring. So many memories down there. I hope they're the good kind. Hmm. Depends, I suppose. <laughs> Do you remember? Back when we were still thinking up a name for the team? I even remember the options. You suggested the rockets or the cosmos. Well, I've always had a fondness for aeronautics. We had a mother who had four sons, and they called her Goldilocks and the Bears. I remember who thought of that. Our ideal one. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Where were you? Do you know what time it is? Mom, I'm not 10 anymore. Stop worrying already. Anthony. What? Were you with Olivia again? No. Eleonora. I'm not kidding. Neither am I. Eleonora is my new girlfriend. She's got straight A's, and she promised to help me get my grades up in all of my classes. Anthony. What, Mom? This one isn't okay either? Then it looks like I've run out of options. Yes. I've got to take my hat off to that Makaya. I really didn't think they'd make it. I don't know how he did it, but he definitely succeeded. To each team its own coach. You think so? I'm certain. You've also raised the chemists from the dump they were Come in. Come on, those are just pretty words. But honestly, the boys have gotten so much better. They have a lot of potential. <sighs> All right. I think it's time to get some rest. Tomorrow we are facing a challenging opponent. Ours isn't easy either. You bet. See you. Take care. Simon, hey. Hiya. I've been waiting for you. How are you? I'm all right. How are you? Not bad either. Listen, we have a match today, right? So? So, this match is very important to me. You know what I mean? So, what do you want from me? Could... Could you miss a couple of goals for old time's sake? It's just that if we win, it would solidify my position on the team. Are you out of your mind? Just take it. I'm not gonna take it. Take it, take it. It's not just some guy around the corner. It's Danny. He's one of ours. He did make room for you between the pipes, huh? Pass, this is a crime. <laughs> As the prosecutor, I can assure you this is normal in the world of sports. You do want to turn pro, don't you, Simon? I do. Mm -hmm. Well, professionals do their work for money, Simon. I won't take it. <laughs> It's okay. You already passed the test. No. Simon, are you all right? I'm concerned, Simon. Simon? Simon? Simon! Simon! God, you really scared me. I've been trying to wake you up and you weren't breathing. I'm fine. I just dozed off. Dozed off? Come on, get up. I'll get you some food. We need to leave for the game soon. Oh, boy. Hi there, Dad. Hi there, son. How's Grandma? 
She's all right. She went to breakfast by herself today. Oh, thank God. Send her your love. Thanks, Dad. I'll call her tomorrow. Did they tell you when she'd be discharged? The doctor in charge said sometime next week. Excellent. Going to the game? Yes. Are you coming? Of course I am. I took the day off. All right, then. Anyway, wish me luck, Dad. By the way, whenever you're there to watch our games, we always seem to win. <laughs> then win you shall. All right, Dad. Good luck, son. Eat, eat. Dad. What is it? Can you stop staring like that? What? A proud father can't take a good look at his own son? Dad, what am I, a pretty girl? <laughs> You've got a point. Although, there is no shame in staring at a good-looking guy, either. So what, you think I'm handsome? Obviously. Who else? Okay, not in a pretty boy way. Like a man's man. Ha ha ha! You see? Damn. What's wrong? It's 24 past? What of it? I'm gonna be late for the Don't game! Don't worry, we'll call a taxi. Oh, what up. taxi, Dad? Doesn't your old man make any cash? Come on. Then buy me those headphones. I was prepared for you to say that. You got it, son. Oh, that reminds me. I had it right here. Uh, wait. Where is it? What? The gift I bought for you, Simon. What gift, Dad? An amulet of sorts. A bear's claw on a string. Did you see it anywhere? No. I'm an old fool. It was here. Why would I need it? Why, Simon? Because it brings luck. I put it in here. Dad, put, not put it. What does it matter? It isn't there now. All right, Dad, I gotta go. Hold on a sec. What? All right. I hope the bears win. Thank you. Thank you. I put it in here. Where is it put? Oh, Simon. That boy's got me confused. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Anthony. Hey. Hey? We thought the two of us would be the first. Been here long? Not really. 20 minutes. Why aren't you changed? Why should I? The skate's still in 40 minutes. True that. Are the chemists here yet or not? They're still unloading outside. Why do you ask? There's an old friend I need to see. I'm gonna look for him. He's up to something. Excuse me. Hello. You need something? Yes, you must be Alex, am I right? Yes, I am. You want me to call Anthony? Uh, no. I wanted Olivia, your PR manager. Could you, uh, tell me how to find mm. her? Well, I kind of just got here. But if you want, I can go check where he is. That'd be very nice. I'll be waiting outside then. All right. <laughs> That's it, fellas. You've had your laughs. Enough. Change and get on the ice. Anthony. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. What's going on? Nothing. I'm just passing by. Oh, you're doing well. Getting strong, huh? I'm happy for you. Thank you. Anthony. Hi there. Hey, man. Listen, have you seen our PR manager by any chance? Uh, no. Why do you need her? I don't, but your mom's asking. My mom? Yeah. Where? In the hall? You didn't know? Uh, no. Thank you, all man. All good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All good, man. And Olivia? Uh, Olivia? Nothing's wrong. I'll sort it out myself. See ya. Okay. See ya. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. To the game? To the game. Aren't you early? They said it would be full, so I thought I'd buy tickets in advance. You could have called me. I didn't want to bother you. Excuse me. Yes, Mr. Fadim. Is he here already? All right, I'll be there soon. Julia, shouldn't we talk about it? About what? So there's nothing? Should we talk? All right, I have to go. But we'll revisit this talk later.
Mom, what are you doing here? To watch the Interesting. game. Interesting. They told me you were looking for Olivia. Who told you? Doesn't matter. What do you want with her? To talk to her? Or am I not allowed? <sighs> okay, Mom. Let's settle this. You can go date whoever you want, be it Coach McCabe or Ronaldo. I don't care anymore. I won't say another word about it, but leave Olivia alone, will you? Why did you mention Serge? I saw the two of you pretty close just now. Anthony. Just cut the crap. If you bother Olivia again, I'm moving out. Although it's gonna be hard because you know how much I love you. Right, and he goes like, man, you can get hammered only on the days of the week that start with the letter T. Tuesday, uh, Thursday, and today, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Sorry, may I? Yes, you don't need to ask. Come in. Good afternoon. Hello. Listen, Serge, I wanted to ask you, uh, what's our angle for the game today? What other angles could we have? Victory. Sure. Better tornadoes from the second than the lions from the third, huh? <laughs> well, yes, agreed, agreed. There's a little something else that's at stake here, you know. And that is? Recently, I happened to be at the sauna with that Benjamin. The one sponsoring the chemists? That's the one. I made a bet with him on a crate of whiskey. Expensive? Doesn't matter. A good one. If you win, I'll let you try. Then it's a matter of principle. <laughs> All right, Serge. Got to the root of it. Yes. Look, bring me that hat, the hat. The silly one, the hipster one, yes, bring it. Yes, that one, bring it. Hey, Danny. Look, could you get me Ethan real quick? What for, Anthony? Well, I need to give him something back. It'll be quick, just five seconds. All right, then. Thanks, man. Anthony! Should I be chasing you around the stadium? Uh, the skate will start in 10 minutes. Coach Serge, just one minute, please. What minute? I need you to go now. <sighs> hey, look over there. Did you see how Alex blasted off from zero to fourth gear? I wouldn't be showing it off like that. Why not? You can clearly tell that he's been trying. If anybody's been trying, it's Simon. Look. Why is that? He used to sleep all the time. Now he's always on his toes. Let's go. Valentine! I thought we had a deal. What, right now? Well, when else? Damn, Gregor, I can't. Then I will. I'm not having any funny business on my team. Hey. I've read the whole story online. It's all a bunch of bullshit. You won't believe Gregor. Me. I swear. Gregor. Gregor, damn! Can I talk to you? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I wasn't sure if I should tell you. Come on, spit it out. Um... Your mother dropped by. <laughs> Amazing. What did she want? About the apartment. I see. And what did she say? She said, like, we're too young, maybe we should think about it. She wanted me to talk to you. Then let's say we talked about it. Gregor! What? She's going to come again. Tell her I won't change my mind. Okay, and if she doesn't listen? Maria. Yeah? Just say it was all me, okay? <laughs> Okay. See ya. <laughs> Buddy. Fellas. Where's Valentine? I don't know. He went out somewhere. <sighs> he doesn't have the guts. How so? Fellas, listen up. Gather round. So I've got some information about the steroids that were found in our locker room. Turns out it's Valentine's. Yeah. We knew that. What do you mean? He just told us himself. Uh, yeah. What did you say? What did we say? We asked him to get us some, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Don't worry about it. He confessed to it, and he promised he would stay clean. Hey, Andrew, have you seen the chemists? Went out for lunch, why? It's nothing. Hey, hello there. <laughs> hello. What do you want? Just wanted to say hello. Hi, hello. What now? Did you come for the game? No, to fetch the pucks. This isn't football. We don't fetch pucks. If it's gone, it's gone. I guess that means goodbye then. So you don't want to talk it out? I'll ask again. What do you want? I just wanted to talk to a beautiful young girl. Well, you have lots of beautiful young girls to chat with. Yesterday at the cafe? That was just small fish. So that makes me the big fish? Why, are you jealous? Listen, Andrew. All of our conversations end up the same. So let's just end this here. Vincent! Hey! Hello there! Oh. Hi there. Ah. Oh. Where are you off to all dressed up? It's nothing, some business. You've been such a busy man these days. I haven't seen you for ages. I thought I lost you for good. Come on, stop with all that nonsense. My mother-in-law's at the hospital, so I'm watching Michael. My wife, God rest her soul. She passed away. Oh, we're celebrating her life. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Here, pray for her. I'm telling you, I've got stuff to do. My deepest condolences. Of course, and no offense, but I can't drink. Vincent, that's just no, inhuman. No, but you I... You have to honor her memory. I can't, Carter, I can't. Don't you understand? Vincent, drink! Carter, what are you doing? Stop! Stop what? Sorry, brother. Let's Let me enough. that I'm out fine. for you. I don't need anything. I'll take juice, not vodka. Ah, uh, let him go. Uh. Simon. Hi there. Hey, Danny. There you go. Uh, take it. What's that? What do you mean? Here's the money. The dough I borrowed. Thanks for helping me out. You said you wouldn't return it soon. So you don't want your cash? <laughs> it's just that... No, no, when Stephen heard, he reimbursed it all. That's awesome. <laughs> Thanks again, man. No worries, it's nothing. All right, see you around. See ya. See you on the ice. Well, yeah, see you there. See ya. Hello, Dad. I found the money. Well, yes, the money I lost. Uh, in the locker room. It was sitting right there and nobody took it. Yeah, okay, Dad, I have to go. Okay, bye, Dad. Alex, hey. Hello. I'm here to see how you'll do tonight. What do you mean by you? Sorry? Well, is it me or Andrew, or is it both? Alex, stop talking nonsense. You've apologized for this before. Have you figured it out? No. Why not? There's nothing to figure out. I made up my mind a long time ago. And? Does that answer your question? Sorry, I didn't hear that. Could you repeat that? Wait a minute, are they going to search us as well? <laughs> Mom, it's routine procedure. There's a lot of people. Peter, did you agree to be searched too? Victoria, it's not a search, it's a security screening. Mm hmm. <sighs> Excuse me, I can't let you pass. Why not? Because you smell of alcohol. Listen, I didn't drink. They spilled vodka on me. Sir, people are waiting. Fellas, come on, my son is playing. That means nothing to me. Next. You have to talk like that. How should I talk to you? You're drunk, man. Go home. Get Don't out of here. Don't me. You're still wet behind the ears, copper. And I said I did not drink, and I can prove it. Listen, old man. Go home. Sleep it off. Hey, where are you going? I told you, to the game. You can't pass here. I can. You can't pass here. I can. I'm saying you can't pass. Look here, drunky. Drunky? You're the one that's drunk here. All right, take him, boys. We asked nicely, but he's refusing. All right, I'm coming. Yes, there are people like that out there, too. Do you realize who that was? Mom, please don't. Why shouldn't I? 
That was the father of our daughter's boyfriend, whom we so groundlessly and soullessly refused to give a loan. Hmm, yes. But that's no reason not to watch hockey, right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so these two friends meet up. One says, I found a way to get rich. The other says, I know, you borrowed from me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey there. What's up, Danny? Hello there. What's up, guys? How are you? I'm all right. Hmm. So what? Let's grind it out? Let's grind it out. Yeah? Good luck, then. You must think I'm an asshole. Hmm. Danny, to think that you are, one has to be an asshole himself. And there are no assholes here. Oh, and don't play to lose, okay? We'll beat you on our own. Hmm. Here are the team lineups. Alex Kerson, number 41. Victor Zamani, number 28. Tim Schwartzoff, number 49. Ethan Gavrilo, number 37. Mason Galileo, number 14. Are you all right? Yes. Go get him, Danny. That's our ex-player? It is. Gregor Shukin, number 10, team captain. Anthony Antipo, sporting number 17. Michael Bonomario, as always, playing as number 95. Defending the goal, we have number 38, the one and only Simon Baki. People, whoa, whoa. hey, how's it going? Hey, Danny, look who's here <laughs> up top, Danny? man. Up. My school is sending me to regionals. I was kind of counting on you to be but there, but I can't let down the entire school, coach. Sir, you just let your own team down. Personally, I understand. Steven asked me too, but you didn't go. No, why not? Did he chicken out or what? <laughs> I don't get it. Where does he think he's going? Hey, Dan. Something wrong? Mr. Steven, I'm sorry I can't. I gotta go. That's a good start. Yeah. Nick, you go first. Danny, hold up. Wait, Danny! What's the matter? I'm asking you, Danny, what happened out there? I just can't do it, What coach. can't you do? You're letting the entire team down. You're letting me down, Danny. This is not my team, Mr. Steven. And it never was in You the silly place. boy! You're foolish and unprofessional. You have a bright future ahead, and you are digging your very own grave here. If you go, not a single club will take you in. Why are you rooting so much for that bunch of losers? I understand. If you understand, go to the rink! Mr. Steven, look, I'll give it to you. Everything you said is true. But I can't do this. I'm sorry.
one zero. One zero, go. Hey, Michael, what are you looking at? The game's over there. Close it off! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Counter it, boys! Counter it! That there's my game. That's my game. The puck is scored by Andrew Kislyak, number 24. That's it. They're done for now. Do you like it? Yes, the speed is impressive. <laughs> I don't know. I can't seem to keep track of where the puck is. You should follow Michael, dear. Your guy plays really well. <laughs> come on, come on. Let's finish them off. They're breaking, fellas. Let's do this. Guys, what happened to Danny out there, huh? Don't know. Doc said he left the stadium. Holy mackerel. All right. Everything's fine. It's only the first period. Concentrate till the very end. Time is playing on our side. Anthony? Yeah. What are you doing out there on the rink? I'm playing. Oh, yeah? Seems to me your mind is elsewhere. Get it together. Coach, sir, can I go to another five for a couple of shifts? Why is that? Because I think I can score. Well, if you feel like you can score, then score from where you are. All right, fellas, take a break. We're back in 10. the good work. Well done! Assist goes to Alex Costro, number nine. The goal was scored by Michael Bonamarco, number 95. Ah, my nose is itchy now. Did I get some? Come on, forget it, man. After the match.
God, and you came to watch all of this? A foul by Anthony Antipo, number 17, playing for the Bears. The penalty goes to Tim Squartzoff, number 49, from the Chemists. This is really bad. I gotta say, it's bad. This is really bad, man. Really bad. Really bad. Valentine, replace Anthony in the first line. Got it? Look at that. He got us a five-minute penalty. Dad, it doesn't end after they score a goal. Jesus Christ, what have you stuffed your head with? Take him on your own! I just don't understand. Hey, 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 George, come here. Just a second. What was that? About Anthony? Who else would it be? You're asking the wrong guy. Who should I ask then? Mikheyev. I told him a million times that that psycho would give us hell. He bumps people in practice. And recently, he punched the captain in the face in the locker room. You're joking. What did Serge do? What did he do? Zero response. He's got that thing going on with the mother. What thing? Better he told you himself. Excuse me, I should go. Excuse me. <laughs> All right, let's go. Can you explain to me what just happened, Anthony? Did he provoke you? Well, say something. I don't know. I just blacked out, I guess. Sorry, but blacking out is not an answer. All right, don't say anything then. Bear in mind that your blackout cost your team three missed pucks. Come on, come on! Yes! Come on, fellas, come on, get it together! We still have a chance! Hey! Well, Vadim, are we gonna make it to overtime? That would be great. We've got one and a half minutes. All right, fellas! I want you to defend the zone. Simon, off to the bench. Gregor, you're going a sixth field player. All right, guys, attack the net. Attack the net, everyone. Come on, let's do this.
wins the match. <laughs> what a good start we had, and then we blew it. Team Steel Lions. The game will take place. Damn, what a shame. I mean, the four of us played for five minutes. Yeah, Anthony played too rough today. What happened to him anyway? All right, enough chit-chat about Anthony. Coach Serge, do you think that was normal? I just said that's enough. We will break it down separately later. Congratulations on the completion of the group stage. Now, we face the Steel Lions in the playoffs. From now on, I'm asking everyone, to focus. There's nothing else but this right now. Hey, Serge. Excuse me, but Alec is asking for you. I'll be right there. <laughs> All right. Dad, please don't say anything. I wasn't going to say anything. One thing, though. See, it's all my fault. What do you mean? It's my fault that you lost. If I'd given you this claw before the match, you would have won. Take it. Now, it'll bring you some good luck. It would have helped you. Thank you. Thank you, too, son. What for? You're a fine young man, and I'm proud of you. Are you hungry? Very. Guess who's waiting for us at home? Mom's home? You are a clairvoyant, Simon. Hear ye, hear ye now. See that? That's the power of the claw. Let's go. Let's have something nice to eat. Michael! Hi there. Hello. Have you seen my dad? Yes, I have. Where? The police had to take him away. What do you mean, where to? I don't know, he was at the entrance. Why, what did he do? He... I don't know, he... I just saw there was some conflict. No way, I'll... I'm sorry, I'll call you later. Mm-hmm. Cut it short, we lost four to five. Yep, but we're in the playoffs. <laughs> okay. See you later, I'll be online by 11. Take care. You gotta be kidding me. Mr. Alec, you asked for me? I did. If you don't mind, I will give you five minutes. I'll fix the schedule with Ronald while he's still here. I have one question. Uh, that Antipov boy, is he mental or what? He's fine. Hmm. So why does he attack people, then? Honestly, I haven't talked to him yet. I see. They say it wasn't the first time. What do you mean? Well, I mean, he hits people. He waves his stick. Am I wrong? <laughs> Mr. Alec, you see, you can't lump all those cases into one. There's a reason for everything he did. Uh, I see. I want you to get that boy off the team. What do you mean? That's it. Off the team. Can you do it, or should I do it? A Taurus! No, look. 